All right, guys. So I cannot be the only one. When you watch this clip, I'm going to show you something right after it that it immediately reminded me from a very, very, I would say it's a pretty well-known movie about <clears throat> zombies. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this horde mechanic right here. So, tabs is not actually a game. We're just testing out some swarming mechanics for now. Now, they said tabs with a Z. Tabs Z, totally accurate battle zombies, is not actually a game. We're just testing out some swarming mechanics. So, there's hints there, guys. They are planning zombies. I, I, I mean, look, look at this. Look at this clip. Come on now. Tell me you don't see it. The similarities, the inspiration, the beauty, the absolute amazingness that Landfall Games was able to get their characters to do the same thing that we saw in World War Z when the zombies swarmed up to get over the wall in Jerusalem. Now, if that's true, then all we need next is the zombie mechanic where a zombie unit kills something and then it reanimates and joins the zombie horde. I personally think I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and go out on a limb here. I think that zombies should be a third faction entirely. I've 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 been advocating. I think it'd be cool if tabs in the future at some point when it made sense would have the option to have multiple teams on a field. But imagine if you had red versus blue versus green. And green was zombies. So it's like maybe red and blue ally up and fight. I don't know. That's just, that's overly complicated. But anyway, guys, I'm fairly certain that zombies are going to be coming to Totally Aga Battle Simulator in the future. Ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into some epic battles. Hey, guys, when you subscribe to this channel, do me a favor. Join Baron's Brigade. Make sure to hit the bell and then click send me all notifications for this channel. And then click save so that you can be the first to see the videos whenever they're launched. Alright guys, so since we're going to be talking about zombies, I want to hear your ideas, your thoughts. I mean, obviously, in many different movies, games, books, comics, there are different types of zombies, right? So, there could be, in theory, multiple different zombie units. What is wrong with this guy's leg? He is skipping leg day. Anyway, so we are back to the campaign where we were supposed to use old units only, right? But then, Awesome here suggested, beat the campaign with just the peasants. And since we're talking about zombies, I thought it was rather appropriate. Alright, so let's see our zombie horde in action. Now, we're fighting Viking warriors. Very worthy opponents. That stone killed, it looked like maybe three or four units. Look at the Viking warriors get stuck in these masses. So, our peasants are going to have to slap giant bearmen to death. And these bearmen can literally just like slay multiple people with a singular swing of their axe but they're slowly slowly but surely getting taken down there are two bearmen left the peasants are trying to make their way to the catapults that good okay i don't know if we're going to be able to win this i think oh he's carrying them he needs to get bogged down by the bodies and i don't think that's happening look both these bearmen actually have won their respective fights the zombies may not get past this first level, guys. I don't know. Now, it is, in theory, possible. But look at that. Three units. The three units that we needed to kill the most. Okay. So, I think, then, what we should try to do is, you know, just kind of get a single column here and maybe lure some of the others out to the sides. I don't know. I don't know if this is like a good idea at all or not. Maybe the technique would be to like lure them into a trap, you know, and encircle them. But dude, these bearmen are able, like, I don't know if peasants have what it takes to kill bearmen. But we are going to try to do that. But yeah, so I think zombies would be great. I think zombies should be green so you could visibly tell them. And like maybe some different looking eyes, maybe like red looking eyes or something like that. The Vikings are slowly dying, but we still have these bearmen. Look at this. It's just a wave. A wave of flesh. Alright, so there is one Viking warrior. The bearmen are still alive. I don't know. I'm not sure if peasants have what it takes. Oh, I guess one of the things would be if we could get the catapults to kill the or kill the bearmen for us. But I don't think that's going to happen. Both of them are alive. The catapults alive. 
These guys probably won't even make it to the catapult. Look at that. They were just immediately smited. So if it doesn't work, then I think we should just switch. Look at that. The catapult hit them and it didn't kill them. Okay, what if we just try it? Hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe boxers? Maybe boxers could do it, right? Oh, wow, that's a lot less boxers. Let's see if they even have a chance. One stone is going to wreck m most of... Oh, man, that, that was really close. But it killed, it killed two of the Vikings as well. Come on, boxers. I don't think boxers have a chance. But maybe mixing it up, you know, maybe that's like... Maybe vi uh, zombies need a different thing, right? A different, a different unit, a better attacking unit. Look at this. Goodness. The Bearmen are amazing. One is down. We've only got three boxers left. But we actually killed one of them. I think... Oh! Did he kill him? Okay, well, we've got one guy, and he's dead. Knocked out. Knocked out. Okay, what we're going to do is we are going to do peasants and boxers. We're going to have two different classes of zombies in this battle, but I don't know. I, I'm not sure if it's entirely possible. We're going to have some boxers on the front. Mix them in with the group. They're trying to, you know... The object here is that most of the peasants attract a lot of the attention. Yeah, these guys should actually have some people in front of them, so they're not frontline troops. Look at that! One Viking is already dead to a catapult stone. But I don't know, guys. We might have to try thieves if this doesn't work. But I'm hoping that the boxers can get in here. Look, knock him out. They, they can do more damage. Huh? Yeah, I guess the two bearmen. Look at this! They almost picked the bearmen up. If they could have picked him up, but yeah, so the swarm mechanics, I mean, we saw them basically create a pillar in climb. So, now you'd only need to be able to do that if there was structures. Well, I guess, yeah, yeah, peasants and boxers. But look, I don't know if we're going to make it. Ah, we have a chance, but, oh, come on, guys. Someone needs to make it. Oh my god, he could kill all of them. Oh no, we've only got five zombies left. And they're all peasants. No. No. One of them just got knocked out from getting slapped in the back. This is so dumb. This is so dumb, guys. But yeah, so what I was saying is like, in the movie World War Z, the zombies swarmed up, created this giant pillar, and climbed over the wall of Jerusalem to get to people. Right? So what we're going to do is put our boxers over here. We're going to have a very strong right flank of boxers. As long as the stone doesn't come in and wipe most of them out. Look at how effective that stone was. It is crowd control. Well, it's like, do you think we'll ever have sieges in castles? In, like, units that actually defend? Oh my god, the chucking, yes! Boom! Did it kill him? It did! It knocked him out! I love the ragdoll physics. Oh, that stone could have been so devastating if it hit this part. So the bear man is going in. It does not look like zombies. I don't know. I, I know that peasants in the past have been able to win campaigns, but I just don't think they can do it now in the new campaigns with some of these new units. Oh, that boxer. Hmm. Both bear men are up this time. This one, we pretty much... Didn't we use the same thing? No, I guess we altered our approach. That stone hit the bear man and killed him. Yeah, all right. What we're going to do is we're going to switch to thieves we're gonna have a second line of thieves in a first line well two lines of zombie peasants and these thieves will be like rage zombies right because in, in different lore there's different types of zombies there's ones that run there's ones that walk sometimes there's zombie abominations sometimes they're spitters you know what i mean like we've all played the video games and watched the movies and stuff like that and in the walking dead they all walk and you always wonder like how the hell do these humans actually get eaten like if it's one zombie who walks and is slow and is ridiculously dumb come on knives shank and brev oh wait oh I, I come on guys this we gotta do this we gotta kill this guy oh it looks like the one over there died so now it's just this one. Oh, yep yeah. No, 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 he's not dead. He looked like he was down. We've got men moving in for the catapult in the back, but a lot of them get chopped down. This group will not win this fight. So the bearman's still going to be alive, but the catapult is down. This is close. Peasant, zombie gets swiped. That guy just killed like two 
Oh no, look at that. That is what we're looking at right here. That is basically the situation we're in. Zombie hordes currently, currently. However, it would be different if these zombies then... See, because that's the beauty of having a zombie unit in tabs, is once it kills the other guy, he joins your side. It's beautiful. All right, maybe, maybe less, maybe let's try barbarians. What would barbarians be actually? Or maybe a lot more. Yeah, we could add like a lot more zombie peasants. Let's do that. Maybe they're just not densely packed enough. I don't know. The knives kind of worked their way to the front and that one, that stone was brilliant. It killed like seven thieves. Zombies that like, you know when zombies like scratch and use their nails? Come on, this guy's got to die. Yeah, but I, I mean, I guess it's just not possible to do this. So, we're gonna go back to the original. Dude, I love how these axes just pick up bodies. The physics bait, see, why this game is so unique is because it uses physics. Like, if you were to compare like other big battle games, they're all animations, like they have set animations. And this, what makes it so fun to watch is it's so fluid and different. You can see a unit do something. What was that? Did you see that? There was some kind of weird spark thing. Well, that is a defeat. So, we're gonna have to fight Vikings with Vikings here. I'm just gonna use spear throwers and see if that works. And one headbutter. Oh, look at this. It shows where you doubled up. So I'm gonna undouble everybody. Because spear throwers are awesome. Let's see if this actually works. Two doubles. Yeah, I think our, our spear throwers should kill most of these Viking warriors. Weigh them, wear their shields down with these spears. Then another spear will come in. We lost two spearmen there. They're not throwing fast enough. Hold on, this isn't going to work at all, guys. I, I fear that we lost because we didn't have a front line. So what we're going to do is a front line of headbutters. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. What if headbutters? Because, yeah, these are the perfect zombies. Because they, like, lunge at you with their head. Yep, we're going to use them. We're going to use headbutters as zombies. Boom! They're so fun. So this would be like a rage zombie thing. Oh, my God, they're absolutely wrecking the enemy. There are two bearmen still up, and there's one Viking warrior. He's blocked a few with his shield. Come on, zombies. No, even still. Even still. Oh, we killed him. It's close. Oh, wait, no, he's still alive. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he's going to get chopped. Look at that. So we had one bearman. Okay, okay. This is how we do it, guys. This is definitely how we do it. We're going to have this, and then they're going to be followed up by just an absolute ridiculous amount of peasants and they're going to be bunched oh yes all right head butters leading the charge followed up by a swarm of regular zombies now these are rage zombies boom wrecking these warriors uh, i guess i guess the head butters should probably follow in after the peasants because the peasants aren't very good at dealing with bearmen and peasants could deal- what? Oh, he's, he's getting buried by the people! The zombie swarm is- Oh, it was doing its best. There actually is one headbutter left. He killed the catapult, so that's that's good, that's rare. Oh, he just, got, he just took an axe to the head. Bodies are getting chucked. Guys, this is tough. This is tough, but it's a fun challenge. Okay, we're gonna change it up. Peasants on the front. Lots of them. Three lines. 3.4-ish lines. And then Viking Headbutters, since they've got speed, they're going to come in, and they're going to be the ones... Actually, I'll have a few flankers. They're going to be the ones that come in in Wreck House. So the peasants absorb a lot of the Vikings. Actually, wow. Peasants are relatively slow. The Headbutters are getting closer, but at least they're working in a giant group. Look at this group of headbutters mixed with zombies. Let's see how they do. Boom! Oh, that guy headbutted his own friend. Come on, guys. Oh, man. All the... Jeez, we got to put headbutters further back, I think. 
That Viking is still alive. He, he's getting kicked by the headbutter. We got headbutters running for the catapults. Look at this guy. Duh. See, that's perfect for a zombie. They're dumb. Oh my gosh. Look at it just ragdolling. Ragdolling everywhere. Hmm. Maybe we need to mix it up. Oh god, that was brutal. Okay. What I'm gonna do is peasants. Actually, you know what? We're gonna try. We're gonna try to actually create a swarm. To surround them. Now they're gonna be followed up by thieves on the flanks. A dense bit of peasants in the middle. And then. Then we need the Viking headbutters, who are our true zombies. Delayed push because these guys are incredibly fast. And maybe this will work. Maybe we'll get a surround. It depends if the Vikings go for the middle. No, they're splitting up actually on the wings, so that may have hurt us. We'll see. We'll find out. Here come the headbutters. Kill this man. Come on. The headbutters are like flinging themselves at the shields and not doing a very good job. That, that, oh, we killed the Viking finally. We killed that bear man. There's this bearman left. The catapult is down. I think we have enough. I think this is enough to finally beat this mission. Oh my god, he's being so good at killing everybody. <gasps> Sweet victory. Sweet nectar of the gods. Okay, this... Oh my god. You're kidding me. Spear throwers and bearmen. Even more bearmen. I don't know, guys. The zombie horde might just might not be enough very very big lines we've got over 110 regular zombies we're gonna throw in a few crusader thieves and then we're gonna go get our headbutters let's see how this goes so more or less the peasant zombies are there to absorb spears but, I mean, with this many bearmen, I fear for our men's lives. I don't think we're going to be able to take out this many bearmen unless they accidentally get speared by their friends. Because look how many bearmen are still alive. I think almost all of them, really. And each bearman is good for, like, taking out 20 zombies. So this, I don't think, would be able to be doable. So, we are going to go back to the old challenge. Where... At, we've tried zombies, and it has been fun. Do not get me wrong, it has been fun. But sometimes, maybe zombies are just not the answer. And instead, it is archers. These guys are going to cut down all of these guys. There are plenty of double... There are just way too many double spawns. That is literally the biggest annoyance. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to let the double spawns go. We're already taking out most of the spearmen. Now it's just to time to pin cushion these bearmen. Come on, archers. Oh, there's friendly fire happening. Oh, bearmen are going down. Bearmen are going down. Some of them have made it to the front lines, but not too many. Just the leftward flank. Uh, there are only two left. Oh, there's so many archers going down the friendly fire. These guys are going to die. Yes! See, slow motion arrows in units that can take lots of arrows. The pin cushions are just so good. It's victory! So, imagine archers versus zombies. Okay, so archers won't work here. But you know what will work? Zombies. <laughs> Zombie nation. We're going to go in. We're just going to rush them with headbutters. That is all we need here, guys. Go, zombies. These ballistas cannot repel firepower this magnitude. Look, that ballista's already down. The zombie horde is just eating these Vikings alive. And... He's dead. Now, who's left alive? There shouldn't be anybody, but there's some kind of weird glitch here with this rock. Listen to them. They even sound like zombies. Like, what? What is that? Did we break the game again? I know that is that is prone to happen. We do break the game on occasion. You know what? We're going to run it one again. We are going to run it again. There will be no glitching this time. Yeah, for some reason. Oh, look at them hopping these rocks. He landed on his head. That's epic. Come on, boys. This ballista is already done. All we have to do is finish it up. Boom! Wrecked. Come on. Come on. Look at that. This is hilarious. All right. And they're doing this thing again. 
What are they doing? See, that's the other thing about zombies, is they're dumb. Guys? Oh! It's a spear thrower that went into the ground. Oh, he's falling! It's a ballista! Is this thing falling? Did we break the game? We found the first flying unit in tabs. It's a ballista that refuses to die. We can't even see the surface at this point. I wonder if he can kill people. I have never seen this in all my time doing tab stuff. Let's see. Oh, the ballista is hitting them. Look at this. There are guys with... Oh, my God. We broke the game. We've we, we found magical units. Look, and then the, these ballistas have, like, some of the best trajectories for... A missile unit in tabs. I don't know, guys. We might have to end this one here. Tab Zombies. Baratia. By Baron. Uh, I want to I wanna see this again. So these... One of these ballistas? Or is it just already down there? Maybe there's actually three. <gasps> How does it do that? I, I wonder sometimes... If Landfall Games doesn't every now and then intentionally put these, like, funny glitches in the game. Look at He's just not even falling, really. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the campaign. We're going to reload it. I think... No, it's not. The, the, we're in Japan. Let's go back. Maybe it's level... Yeah, it is level 15. Look, just one of the ballistas just is not there. Let's see if we can't just overcome... Because this is very, very strange, guys. Incredibly, incredibly strange. Let's see. The ballista is falling again. I forgot what happened the last time I played this. Maybe I just need to quit the game. Um, entirely? We broke it! We broke it. But it's kind of cool to see the battlefield from below. From the depths of hell. Look at these guys. Like, look at them. You're a human survivor. You look out your window and you see this. You're. I'd be pretty scared. Now, the ballista does manage to hit a few people, but I think it just falls so slow, but then it kind of, like, starts flying. Look, it is not dropping, so that's the reference point. No, it is. No. Yeah, not really dropping. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We're going to end this episode right here. We've broken the game. We've seen something new. We've seen something we've never, that has never happened in an episode before, which is always fun and a historic event for us here on the channel within this community. Ladies and gentlemen, Give me your custom battles that you'd love to see in the next episode. And let me know what kind of zombie units you'd like to see or anything like that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Two videos a day. My name is Baron. I'm signing out.